Number 10, Euroleague champ Panathinaikos looks spectacular at home while beating Kimki 101-66. And here is Final Four MVP Vasilis Panulis passing behind his head to all Euroleague center Nikola Pekovic for a two-hand slam. Number 9. On the road against Union Olympia, Marussi picked up its first Euroleague victory ever thanks to clutch shots like this spinning, pump-faking three-pointer on the third-quarter buzzer by Jamon Lucas. What a shot! Number 8, in Istanbul, Partizan's new point guard, Bo McCaleb, cut through the FS Pilsen defense to deliver this no-look pass to Igor Milosevic for a slam. FS Pilsen won its first game in Group B. Number 7, high-flying Unicaja won its second straight game, this one over Olympiakos. With great plays like this, Omar Cook to Joe Freeland's fast break dunk. Unicaja is co-leader of Group B with Yetu Vosoritas. Number 6, Real Madrid got its first victory before the home fans in the Spanish capital with a great off-the-bench performance by Sergi Vidal who split the Aseco Procom defense here for a reverse layup. Number 5, Regal FC Barcelona made its second victory look as easy as this no-look behind the back pass from Teres Morris to Paul Fassendong for a crowd placing jam. Barca still undefeated in Group A. Number 4. For the second week in a row, Montebaschi star Romain Sato makes the top 10 with a rim swinging baseline dunk against Jalgiris for the home fans in Siena. Number 3. It was a tough night for Sibona against Barcelona, but Jamon Gordon gave the visitors a highlight as he stole a mid court and went all the way for a one hand and slam at the other hand. Number 2. Fenerbahce Ulker went to overtime against Asvel Basquet to get its first victory of the season thanks to such big plays as this huge homenagic rejection at the rim of Pangali Fofana. What a great block! The number one play of regular season week two comes from Lietuvos Rita's rookie Aaron Baines, who took off from high in the lane and flew in from above to rock the rim as his team beat Ornean to stay undefeated in Group B. One of the Euroleague's most consistent young stars, all Euroleague center Thiago Splitter of Caca Laboral, and a rookie playing just his second game, met Walsh of Union Olympia, put up singularly excellent performances to share the MVP honor for week two of the regular season, with performance index rating of 36 each. Splitter, the young leader of a revamped team, showed the way to Caca Laboral's first victory of the season, 86-81, over visiting Maccabi Elite Tel Aviv. Spool leader in his seventh Euroleague season, despite being just 24 years old, still put in a career high of 26 points, every one of them necessary, in a back and forth battle with Maccabi. Spool leader was very efficient, making 10 of 14 two point shots and down in six of his eight free throws. He also collected seven rebounds, two assists, two steals, a block, and nine fouls drawn for an index rating of 36. Again and again, when his team needed a big play, Spool leader was there. While Splitter was dominated inside, Walsh was doing so outside, although Union Olympia fell in the end to visit him Marusi. Walsh buried 7 of 9 three-point shots on his way to 32 points, the most by any player in Week 2. Walsh also hit 3 of 4 two-pointers, and on 5 of his three throws while pulling 4 rebounds. All in all, a great debut before the home fans in Ljubljana. Armani Jeans Milano winning in Oldenburg 79 to 70 right down to the last few minutes in Group D. Player of the game was Mason Rocca off the bench for Milano with a gaudy performance on the boards collecting 6 rebounds, going 8 for 8 from the free throw line and pouring in a team high 16 points. Top scorer for Oldenburg was Gikel Foster with 18 points. Armani Jeans now moves up to 1-1 one and one in Group D, while Oldenburg fall to 1-1 one one after winning the first game.
huge road win for l'Automatica Roma in Moscow, 69-74. The Italian team takes advantage of a balanced attack and a solid defensive performance. Big game by Touré off the bench and a crucial block by Winston on a three-point attempt by J.R. Holden with less than one minute to go. 15 points by Andre Hudson and 22 by Zoran Planinic in a losing effort. Real Madrid conquers the first win of the season, thrashing 94-72 Aseco Procom Dinia at Palacio Vista Alegre. Six players going in double figure in scoring for the Spaniards, led by Darius Lovrinovic with 19. Also 15 by Luis Bullock, while Quintel Woods at 22, and Ronnie Burrell amassed a double-double of 14 points and 13 rebounds for the guests. Fenerbahce wins its first game in this EuroLeague season, 78-76, after a thrilling final rush versus Villeurban in overtime. The French team played a great last quarter and tied the score at 68, after having been down in the score for the whole second and third quarter, forcing the game into overtime. During the OT, Lingrier took the leadership for Fenerbahce on the floor, giving his team its first win. Unicaja Malaga gets his second straight EuroLeague win, blowing Olympiakos out 86-68 with a great offensive game. Malaga always leading the game, with all 11 players in the roster scoring at least two points for coach Aito Garcia. Taquandini is the MVP of the game, scoring 19 with the key baskets at the end of the first half and at the beginning of the second one, to leave Olympiakos behind for good. 17 points for Vujic in a losing effort. Marussi wins in Ljubljana with a great fourth quarter in which the Greece team outscores the Union with a partial of 14-2. Four players in double digit for Marussi, Mavroidis with 18, Lukas with 14, Kalatis with 13 and Homan with 12. For Ljubljana, amazing game by Matt Walsh, a leading scorer with 32 points. But the effort of the American forward is not enough for Ljubljana to win. Panathinaikos trashed the 101-66 Kimki Moscow led by 22 points, nailed by Dimitrios Diamantidis and 20 back it by Nikola Pekovic. Young Georgian center uh, Georgi Shermadini scored 10 points, while Kimki had 14 from Keith Langford, the only player to score in double figure for the guests. Kaja Laboral, uh, bouncing back in a big way from last week's defeat against Automatica, wins 86-81 against Maccabi Tel Aviv. Big offensive night for Vittoria, scoring 55 points in the first half, going up by 14, then rallied by Maccabi. In the last quarter, Marcelino Huertas and uh, Thiago Splitter, 26 points for him, career high in the Euroleague, hold Maccabi off. 12 points, all in the first half by Eliahu against his former team. 18 points for Lampe, leading Maccabi scores. Second win in regular season for Siena, beating uh, Zalgiris Kaunas at home for 84-64. The Lithuanian team stays in the game for a quarter and a half thanks to Travis Watson and a good defense. During the last three minutes of the second quarter, Siena goes on a 13-0 run and take an 18-point lead, 48-30. With Marcus Brown spending most of the game on the bench due to foul trouble, Zalgiris can find the strength to react during the second half of the game. MVP of the game, Romain Sato with 13 points and 10 rebounds. Good home win for Regal FC Barcelona versus Cibona Zagreb, building the lead with a 48-28 run between the second and the third quarter. 20 points by Navarro and 15 by Terence Morris for Barca, 16 by Marco Tomas in losing effort. First win in the regular season for FS Pilsen against Partizan, 77-67. 18 points in 19 minutes for Charles Bates, 14 for Rigor Rakocevic, 17 for Preston Champion. Yetovus Ritas wins on the road 62-69 against Orlean with 16 points by Gekevicius. Yetovus builds up a solid lead in the first quarter, 11-20, and wins with a good defensive effort, only 46 points allowed in the first three quarters. Only five minutes of play for newcoming player of Antant Orlean, the veteran Marco Milic.